to show you guys how to get this neutral but gaspy and cherry look and the lighting isn't good so hold on. So first we start off with a dry face and if you do, I take by a Vino Daily Moisturizing Primer, drop, and I just rub this all over my face. Then I take my matte protein prime and the shake kind of right. And I just So then, after that, I'm just take the matte brown and squirt some on my lid. That's enough. Then I take my cover girl. Clean on the skin in the shade 160 Classic. That's enough. Then I get my Danielle. Um, all the prep and brand does is keep it from looking blotchy and caked up so then I take some of and I apply this under my eyes and from that point on it starts spreading it so that's all I need then I get my stable brush and start stabling it on my forehead only Then, after that, I'm just wipe off with my makeup rag and then I'll take my powder brush. I'm sorry I'm using this, but I started using it and it started making makeup look way less blotchy and pasty when I apply it with my foundation brush and store brush. And this honestly looks beautiful. Then I just take my spongy are swiping so I get this all over. If you wipe and that hasn't taken it off, so just use a regular makeup sponge that's phobic. Yeah, I use this and it just makes my foundation not look like so kicked up. And that's the good thing. So that as soon as I'm done with this, I go to my eyebrows. Since it takes me so long, I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera. So I did my eyebrows, now I'm going to move on to my eyeshadow. That's always what I do. I'm going to be using these palettes. This brush and that brush. I always use these. I don't know why, but I'm addicted to those one or two brushes when it comes on to doing my makeup. So, first I started with this pale color. And this is from the Profusion Bare Power. Here comes the next package. Okay. So, anyways, I started by patting this 
white on my eye just a little don't make it everywhere oh to make it outside <coughs> yeah so and oh but get it <coughs> so, so then after that I take the same palette and then I go over the eyelid with this color here and it's a pretty color to use so I put this on my eyelid it's like oh and after that I'm just going to be taking oh oh I don't today so then I take this shady oh no not yet not that yet so then <laughs> I take this plum charmed color. Hello. Yeah. Okay. So, I take my crease brush and I apply that color in the crease, that chunk color in the crease, and it just does me. Oh no, it's just bad, please. And I, if I mess it up, I go back with that same goldie and I put that back on top. That dimension that's there, and I love that about this look because it's a danger. Then I take this color and I pat, pat this color and I pat it on the lid and it gives me this nice look so then for the inner crease here take this very wrong color from my other colors and this is the warm palette warm so take this color right here it's like a hot orange and then I put that in my crease. I'm sorry, guys, you guys can't see. But 